Hi, how you guys doing? And uh, welcome back to Pokemon Shield with me, your girl no fuses. Uh, we got our starter Pokemon, which is Squirt Bunny, and Wulu has finally broken out of prison, and we have to go and find it. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll go off on that nice little adventure and see what happens. Why are you smiling at me like that? Come on, we can't just leave that Pokemon on its own. Yes, we can. And if you guys like this video, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. Slumbering Weld. Oh my god, this is a forest I wouldn't want to be in because it's so foggy, so I wouldn't, wouldn't be able to see anything. I'd probably be low-key scared. <laughs> that Wooloo, where did you think it got off to? The fog is coming in thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. I like how our character just never says anything, they just assume what we're saying, don't. So you you give an exclamation mark before they come at me? Okay. I can't run. I don't think I have any Pokeballs. Hold on, let me check. Nope, see, I have none. So it's either run away or fight. All right, got it. It barely nudged. What is that? See how she just crouched over? Like she was about to tackle something? Doing alright there, Score Bunny? Let's be sure you're in tip top shape. There, now let's switch on. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Did you did you expect my ass to be beat from that cute little squirrel? I is that what you thought? Nah. Oh, come on. It's gonna happen every time, isn't it? And I can't catch any of them. So that sucks. These unnerved. Come on, ah. I wonder if he's gonna kill me after every. Tall grass battle. Let's see. Barely even another nudge. Oh my gosh, she crashes down every time. Like, we don't. can't be caught again. What's happening? Did you hear that? Is that a Pokemon crying out, you think? Come on! Oh, come on! Every time! You can't watch. Maybe, maybe if I try to stealthily... That was effective. Maybe I need to definitely go through this tall grass. Maybe that's how this is gonna work. Let's try it. Because every time I go into this tall grass, I keep getting caught. Thank you. Come on, that Wulu might be in real trouble. That's what it gets for leaving the house. After we told it, no. Oh my god, this fog is thick. Where are you going? This is mad. I can't even see my own head in front of my face. I can't... Oh. I think I get now why this place is off limits.
Oh my god. Who are you? Came out of nowhere. I wish I could catch you. I don't have any Pokeballs! <laughs> Question mark appeared. We don't know what it is. We don't know what level or anything. This is bad. This is so bad right now. Oh, dang. Is it an illusion? The move has no effect. The mysterious Pokemon's gaze is fixed on you. What? The move had no effect on it? Okay, um... Tackle. Still nothing. There's no effect. Oh, he's making the fog. I can't see anything. You okay? Can we run? Can we run for our lives? Can we run for some reason? Oh, great. Fantastic. Move has no effect. But you're just making it foggier. I can't see anything. So we fainted? Yeah, we fainted. Hop! No fuses! What? Lee, how'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with the wrenches, you always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little bird who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course I came looking for you both. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. Oh, they found it! <laughs> Charger is, is kind of looking at the, the sheep like, If you do this shit again, I swear to God. <laughs> The little chap, she has fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come here all the same. I understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. At least the blues are right. Yeah? I thought we had it when that weird dog started rolling in that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than anything I've ever seen. And it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seemed to pass right through it. Your moves pass right through it? So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering well. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough, maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'd be all right now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee. What an experience! This would make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wexford now. She'll go she'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did that spare. I've never heard that she'll go spare. Never heard that term ever in my life. Oh, there's two of you now. Okay. Well now, isn't Scorpion just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off the wedge hairs, aren't you? Here we are. You have a pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember, that Scorpion will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor gear too hard. <laughs> was that? Hell yeah! And you, 
Joshua Bunny. Look after my little nephews. Come home to rest any time that you need. And after all, east or west, home is best. <laughs> she's so proud. Look at her face. She's like, uh, she's going on her first adventure. Let me wake you up one last time. Just for shits and giggles. <laughs> that face. Every time. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next ship. I'm, you, you're, oh my god, you have so much self-confidence. He's just like, he's like, my legend, I'm going to become the next champion, yada, yada, yada. And it's just like, our character is finally just looking at him like, yeah, he a thought. Guess I'll probably train up Grookey a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in tall grass. You should get yourself to building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball. Mark out in the front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh, there's a Pokemon ball right there, too. Wow, this is an obvious game that you're all through trying to block my path so I can go to the tall grass. I really just... Maybe I... Very... Delicately... Yeah! Okay. <laughs> so... So that's what it is. In the tall grass, you gotta sneak. If you don't sneak, you're you're gonna get you're gonna get caught. And then you have to battle all these Pokemon every freaking time. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, spread, uh, oh yeah, I already know. Played enough Pokemon games to know what it is. Thank you, game. Ah, look. Why is this little girl kind of looking at me like? What are you doing? I can't talk to these people? Guess not. Well done. You reached the go and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did the f a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown? All thanks to having Pokemon with you. We just walked down the street, my guy. I know, I'm sure, I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep him from getting lost all the time. Now, in we go. Got to give it to Professor Magolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. What is it today, Leon? Oh, I'm sorry, it's a woman. Ne never mind. My bad. My bad. Looking for info on another never before seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. Yes. What kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I am Professor's assistant. This this is no fuses. She's a new Pokemon trainer. Set her on the right path, would you? Ha! <sighs> what 
does he think I am? He always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, look. Looks like you've got Rotom food. Hey there, Rotom. I made fun of this phone in the previous video, but now that I know that it flies and pretty much has a conscious, I, I take back my insults. I'm sorry, phone. I love you. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and navigation tool that said Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? Yep. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that I can use the Pokédex on your Rotom phone. Yay, Pokédex! Just so you know, that Pokédex is a gift from my dream. Could you let Brian know that you received the Pokédex? She lives in the house down on Route 2. Alright, well that's done. Can I go up these stairs? Can I venture through your house? Oh, I can't. Well, there's exactly nothing up here though. Alright, that's fine. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? That means you got Pokédex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. You obtained a potion. Well, thank you for the potion. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP, their hit points get slow. HP is like a Pokemon stamina. You can use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. In here. Oh, I can't so I can go in random people's houses. Good to know. Got your Pokedex from Sonya? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But balance your Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what balance their trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers. Luckier yet, yeah, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, that you've never been inside one. Sleeping on top of what the ATM or whatever that is. Just casual. Live with me. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Uh, of course not. Then I don't think you need to tell me what you already know. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers! I'm already good though. I'm headed to Route 2. Come find me maybe when you're done here. What is this though? Greetings, trainer. What can I help you with? Check boxes. Oh, you're that one. Oh, okay. Alright, I already know what this is. That's where I can store all those Pokemon and I get. Is this the bar? Got some Pokemon questions? Feel free to ask. Remember, move, get a move. No. Well, come back anytime. It's true that while Pokemon can be scary, but once they become your allies, there's nothing more reliable. Is there anything else in here? No? It looks more like... How run. Uh, man, I like... Oh my... Why? Why in every freaking game... The revive has got to be the most expensive thing on the god dang list. Like, Jesus, come on. He said, you want revives? Well, too bad. Oh, snap. How much money do I got? She said she gave me pocket money. Is she low-key rich? I'll buy at least 
Yeah, I was gonna say one, but let's buy two. We're we're this rich for now, or we might have to take advantage. Um, and I'll just buy like two more potions. Cause I don't know what else we about to come across, and I think my Pokemon is good. I don't think they need to be healed. Um, let's see. Yep, he's already healed. He's already good. Wait, what was that? I saw something. Mystery gifts. Wait, did this thing have Pokeballs in here? Nope, no Pokeballs. All right, there. maybe I can buy them somewhere else. Sure. What's this stain here? Oh, this is supposed to be from my snack. Page is smudging. I can't really. What? M. People with your birthday are going to be sued. You don't even know. It. You looked at the paper and it's smudged. You're lying to me right now. Oh my god. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon. Well, actually, that already happened, so it might not be that off. Okay, what is this store? Oh, a fairy store. That's very convenient. I'll buy one of each. You, I remember back in the day of old Pokemon games, if you wanted berry, you had to go out in the wilderness and go freaking find them. Now they're being super convenient. They're like, oh, we conveniently have a berry store for your convenience. Enjoy. Oh, thank you. What the? You got a clothing store too? Okay, we're not gonna focus on clothes right now. We're, we're not, because I know we're gonna go to another place and we're gonna be like, ooh, ah, look at all these fabulous little things. And I, so I'm going to wait. I am going to wait. Found a Poke Doll. A doll that attracts Pokemon, the attention of Pokemon, it guarantees escape from a battle with, oh, interesting. Anything else here before I go up here? That's the station. Nope. Maybe Foreman just got on the train. He's waiting for me up the hill. Oh, this is the Pokemon. Okay. Wait, no. You don't sell Pokeballs either. Ain't this a bitch? Where are the Pokeballs? Listen, I've been thinking, you're a Pokemon trainer now. You must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge, mate! The annual competition for trainers can battle it out for the rights to challenge the champion. The trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor to see if she could help. You've got to take part, too. A proper rival is just a thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger, after all. Keeps you motivated, right? Professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2. So let's head there and give our teams a chance to train up a bit along the way. Way ahead of you. I like how you just go into other people's houses like like we all just buddy buddy. Give me a Pokeball, because I swear to God, if I see a Pokemon that I see... <gasps> oh, it looks like a little fox. I want it! I want it!
All right, it's time we fit in our scenes a bit. What the? And I'm here to teach you how. He's like, what the? You need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Lee, where did you come from? Every Pokemon has got a type or two, which can make it good against some opponents, but poor against others. That's the reason you want to catch different Pokemon, to cover one another's weaknesses. Let's all have a champion time as I show you how it's done. Lulu. I was about to say, am I doing this or are you doing this? Huh? Are you gonna give me a Pokeball? You got 50 of them. You can share. <laughs> Typical Lee. I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. And Pokemon around here is some easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? Yes! Thank you! The Pokemon on your team will get experience points. Where I said expiration points. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll die <laughs> when you catch Pokemon too. And of course, they get experience points from battle. Take on the other trainers you meet along the way, along the path to help your tr uh, Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champions something good, alright? Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. Professor will be shocked when she sees me. Well, I see that one. I want the fox, so we gotta be stealthy. A nicket? He looks kind of bored with his life right now. Um, we gotta be delicate with this. He kind of looks smug, smug and bored. Okay. Uh, one more hit ought to do it. Come on! Yes! Thank you! Yay! A light! I am going to quick attack. Thank you! Cunning and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. Of course, it's a freaking fox. It erases its tracks with so swipes with its tail as it makes off with its plunder. I am going to give it a nickname. I know I said last time I wouldn't really contract nicknames, but I can't resist. I'm, I'm calling it Foxy. Your name shall be Foxy. Out of here. What is that? New. Back away. <laughs> I just ran out. I was like, no, what? Oh, oh, crap. We've locked eyes. He's waiting for me.
It's common manners. Oh, it's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle with their eyes. Neat. I try to do a kid boy voice, and that kind of fails. And you're done. Bye. Ah, almost. Almost. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. God, what is with that? I'm pretty sure fire will do the trick. There it goes, one hit. to wild Pokemon lose to many trainers. He's like, it is not my day. Look, there's the professor. So you have unraveled all the secrets of Dynamax Renown yet. Oh goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I hope that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guess. My name is Mongolia. Welcome, young trainers. And welcome... Uh, now come, let's head indoors. Why, Hawk dear, I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be no fuses. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must have already known about Dynamaxing, right, no fuses? Professor McGowan has been doing research into the Diamond Renown for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to its fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about, too, you know. 
Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, do you do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Infuse is only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Deary, I thought your dream was to have everyone in Galar region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goes precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both of your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. So we are going to battle it out. Right, I'll be waiting outside, no fuses. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and beat Hop's ass again in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and are waiting on this epic battle that's coming up next in the next video. And if you liked it, please do not hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. See you guys next time.